CO monitors are required if you're using compressed air to run a breathing hood to protect yourself from the harmful vapors and harmful chemicals that we're, we're using in a paint booth. So we have a couple different CO monitors to help make sure that you do have grade D breathing air in your shop. The X767 Plus has our most options, but what we also found is we needed a different monitor for not necessarily for those size shops because you don't necessarily need the extra loud buzzers or alarms. However, we did introduce the new Dan-Am X288 Sentinel CO monitor. This little case inside of it has a CO monitor. It comes with mounting brackets that clip into the top and the bottom of the case and easily screw to the wall. We would suggest putting this monitor somewhere near a walk-in door uh, going into your paint booth. Each time you walk in and out, you can see how many parts per million that you're at. Um, it comes with a sampling hose. And the sampling hose just simply plugs in to the top of the case. There's a compression fitting that you plug that in. The opposite end, we have small fittings. We have a compression fitting that your CO monitor can screw right into your SOTA filter. So it's easy to hook up. It comes with all the attachments that you need for mounting it to the wall. Uh, but in this new monitor, it meets again, as I said, all of those requirements of having the audible alarm having the digital readout, having the green light come on when you turn it on, and it also has the red blinking lights when you do go over 10 parts per million, so it meets all of those requirements. We would suggest not putting it in your bake booth because you don't want to run that heat cycle up and down and up and down and up and down. It's going to damage the sensor that's inside, and they can be calibrated in the field. Uh, the battery can be replaced in the field. You take the monitor off the clips, off the wall. There's one screw in the back to release the monitor. It does need to be calibrated once a year, and for that, it's pretty simple. You contact your local solder distributor. They get a hold of our solder rep, and they'll come in and do the calibration right in your shop. Contact your local solder distributor and ask them to have the Dan-Am solder representative bring one of these in to show you.